seismic win for Republicans. They had control of the House. They now have control of the Senate with help from millions of American voters. Late today, President Obama appearing before the cameras. So many wondering, would he signal a fight or would he signal hope for compromise? President Bush faced a similar picture in his second term, coming out and calling it a thumping. Now it's President Obama, and late today it was a question from our own John Carl and an answer about Kentucky bourbon that was most telling. Let's get right to John at the White House. John Bourbon? Yes, David Bourbon. The president offered to drink some bourbon with the new man in charge of the Senate, but he offered no sign that he has a mea culpa or a desire to change course. No apologies from the president today. In fact, he suggested Democrats lost primarily because most people didn't bother to vote. To everyone who voted, I want you to know that I hear you. To the two-thirds of voters who chose not to participate in the process yesterday, I hear you too. With Republicans now in control, the man in charge in the Senate is Mitch McConnell. His relationship with the president, not exactly cozy. His office tells me that he's only met with you one-on-one -on -one once or twice, was it a mistake for you to do so little to develop relationships with Republicans in Congress? I think that um, every day I'm asking myself, are there some things I can do better? You know, I'm certainly going to be spending uh, a lot more time with them now because that's the only way that we're going to be able to uh, get some stuff done. Just last year, the president ridiculed the idea of even getting a drink with McConnell. Why don't you get a drink with Mitch McConnell? Today, I asked him about that. Are you going to have that drink with Mitch McConnell now that you joked about at the White House correspondence? You, you know, actually, uh, uh, I would enjoy having some uh, Kentucky bourbon uh, with Mitch McConnell. Uh, I don't know what his preferred drink is. In his press conference earlier today, McConnell said he's happy to work with the president, but... Look, the relationship I have with the president has always been cordial. My attitude about all this at this point is trust, trust, but verify. I mean, we, let, let's see. It wasn't all kumbaya today. The president made it clear he plans to move forward with a controversial executive order on immigration that McConnell today said would be like waving a red flag in front of a bull. David? Yeah, it could spell trouble from the other side. In the meantime, John, the back to that bourbon. Have we called uh, Senator McConnell's office? Uh, is he up for a drink, too? Because a lot of Americans, as we saw in those exit polls, are ready for some common ground here. Uh, we did talk to him. There is no bourbon summit yet on the calendar, but McConnell did confirm he is a Kentucky man and he likes bourbon. So, we'll all see. right, no summit yet, but we'll be on it. John Carl leading us off. John, thank you.